Hey, what's up investors? Welcome back to Alpha ETF, the YouTube channel where we review the best and the worst exchange traded funds in the market. I'm your host, and today we're going to take a look at a very interesting ETF that invests in clean water companies. That's right, I'm talking about the LNG Clean Water Usage ETF, or as I like to call it, the ETF that makes you thirsty for profits. This ETF tracks the selected clean water index, which consists of companies that provide technological, digital, engineering, utility or other services for clean water on an international level. That means they are involved in things like water treatment, purification, distribution, infrastructure and more. Water is essential for life, and as the world faces increasing challenges such as climate change, pollution and population growth, the demand for clean water is only going to rise. That's why this ETF could be a great opportunity for investors who want to tap into this growing market. But before we dive into the details of this ETF, let me remind you to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We post new videos every week about ETFs, stocks, crypto and more. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you think of this ETF or any other ETF you want us to review. We love hearing from you guys. Alright, let's get started with our review of the LNG Clean Water Usage ETF. As always, we're going to rate this ETF on 5 criteria, total expense ratio, ter, fund volume, volatility, sector slash country slash theme exposure and performance. We'll give each criterion a score from 0 to 10 and then calculate the total score at the end. Let's see how this ETF fares. First up is ter. This is the annual fee that you pay to invest in this ETF. The lower the term, the better for your returns. The LNG Clean Water Usage ETF has a TER of 0.49%, which is not bad but not great either. It's slightly higher than the average TER of equity ETFs worldwide, which is around 0.4%. However, it's still lower than some other thematic ETFs that focus on niche sectors like clean energy or robotics. For comparison, Shares Global Clean Energy Usage ETF has a TER of 0.65% and the LNG Robo Global Robotics and Automation Usage ETF has a TER of 0.8%. So, this ETF is not too expensive but not too cheap either. We'll give it a score of 6 out of 10. Next up is Fund Volume. This is the total amount of money invested in this ETF by all investors. The higher the fund volume, the more liquid and stable the ETF is. The LNG Clean Water Usage ETF has a fund volume of around 400 million euros, which is decent but not impressive. It's not a very popular or well-known ETF yet, so it doesn't have a lot of trading activity or market impact. However, it's not too small either, so it shouldn't have any major problems with liquidity or tracking error. For comparison, the Ishes Global Clean Energy Usage ETF has a fund volume of over 6 billion euros and the LNG Robo Global Robotics and Automation Usage ETF has a fund volume of over 1 billion euros. So, this ETF is not too big but not too small either. We'll give it a score of 7 out of 10. Moving on to volatility. This is the measure of how much the price of this ETF fluctuates over time. The higher the volatility, the riskier but also potentially more rewarding the ETF is. The LNG Clean Water Usage ETF has a volatility of around 20% over one year in euros, which is quite high but not surprising for a thematic ETF that invests in a specific sector. This means that this ETF can have big swings in its value depending on market conditions and news events related to clean water companies. For comparison, the Ishes Global Clean Energy Usage ETF has a volatility of around 30% and the LNG Robo Global Robotics and Automation Usage ETF has a volatility of around 25%. 
So, this ETF is not too calm but not too crazy either. We'll give it a score of 5 out of 10. Next up is sector slash country slash theme exposure. This is the breakdown of the different sectors, countries, and themes that this ETF invests in are important for diversification, as it can help reduce risk and capture opportunities. The LNG Clean Water Usage ETF has a sector exposure primarily to industrials, utilities, and technology, with smaller allocations to energy, basic materials, and other sectors. This indicates that the ETF focuses on companies that provide engineering and utility services for clean water and those that offer technological and digital solutions. The LNG Clean Water Usage ETF has a country exposure mainly to the US, Japan, Switzerland, France, and the UK, with investments in other countries as well. This suggests that the ETF is primarily invested in developed markets, especially in North America and Europe, where clean water companies are more established and regulated. However, it also has some exposure to emerging markets like China and India, where clean water demand is growing rapidly due to urbanization and industrialization. The rest is in other countries. So, this ETF is not too biased but not too balanced either. We'll give it a score of 7 out of 10. The LNG Clean Water Usage ETF has a theme exposure of around 100% to clean water, which is obvious since that's the main focus of this ETF. However, within the clean water theme, there are different sub-themes that this ETF covers, such as water treatment, water infrastructure, water utilities and water technology. These sub-themes have different characteristics and drivers that affect their performance and growth potential. For example, water treatment companies may benefit from stricter environmental regulations and consumer awareness. While water infrastructure companies may benefit from government spending and public-private partnerships. Water utilities companies may benefit from stable cash flows and dividends, while water technology companies may benefit from innovation and disruption. For comparison, the ISHES Global Clean Energy Usage ETF has a theme exposure of around 100% to clean energy, which includes sub-themes like solar power, wind power, biomass and geothermal energy. So, this ETF is very focused but also very diversified within its theme. We'll give it a score of 10 out of 10. Finally, we have performance. This is the measure of how well this ETF has done in terms of returns over time. The higher the performance, the better for your portfolio. The LNG Clean Water Usage ETF has a performance that is not very impressive but not terrible either over one year in euros. This means that this ETF has lost some value over the past year, but not as much as some other thematic ETFs that have been hit hard by the market volatility and the rotation away from growth stocks. We'll give it a score of 5 out of 10. Alright, let's sum up our scores for the LNG Clean Water Usage ETF. We gave it a 6 for turn, a 7 for fund volume, a 5 for volatility, a 7 for sector slash country slash theme exposure and a 5 for performance. That gives us a total score of 30 out of 50, which we divide by 5 to get an average score of 6 out of 10. That's not bad, but not great either. It's a decent ETF that offers exposure to a promising sector with high growth potential, but it also comes with some risks and costs that you need to be aware of. So, what do you think of the LNG Clean Water Usage ETF? Do you agree with our rating? Do you own this ETF or are you planning to buy it? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching Alpha ETF. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future uploads. We post new videos every week about ETFs, stocks, crypto and more. And remember, this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. 
It is not financial advice or an offer to buy or sell any securities. Always do your own research and consult with a professional before making any investment decisions. That's all for now. See you next time on Alpha ETF. Stay safe and happy investing.